How many times have you been to dinner or a luncheon and you have a nice, beautiful chicken breast presented to you? It's nice and caramelized on the outside, but then you cut into it and it's as tough as nails. Well, that's what we're gonna to discuss today. How to pan sear chicken breast, get it nice and caramelized and well done on the outside, but nice and moist on the inside. Hey everybody, it's Walter from Artistic Gourmet Adventures. My wife Kim and I own this unique small group tour company where we host groups of 6 to 12 guests for one week luxury adventures in beautiful locations throughout Europe and the United States. I have the privilege of being the adventure chef, creating and preparing daily gourmet meals for our guests. We also enjoy creating in-home private dinners for clients and friends when we're back in the States. Many of our guests request our recipes and want to learn cooking tips. So, in this video series, from our cozy home kitchen here in the beautiful Loire Valley of France, we will demonstrate a wide variety of recipes, from culinary classics to originals, as well as covering professional kitchen techniques for the home chef. For more information on Artistic Gourmet Adventures, check our website, linked in the description below. Now, let's start cooking! Okay, the lowly chicken breast. Such an unassuming cut of meat, but it can be so, so tasty. The problem with chicken breast when you pan sear it is that as you can see, there's basically two sections. You've got the lobe, which is quite thick, and then you've got the point, which is quite thin. So herein lies the problem with getting it nice and evenly cooked all over and it still being very tasty. So we're going to do that today. It's a very simple process, really. Um, we're actually going to uh, we're going to season our chicken breast with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper if you like if you like pepper, and then we're going to use a little bit of butter, some uh, grapeseed oil, and we're going to flavor it with uh, a, a sprig of thyme. You could use rosemary, you could use oregano, whatever you'd like, and a clove clove of garlic. So our first step uh, to, to doing this is going to be to pound our chicken breast. And I've, got a, I've just got a meat uh, pounder here, or cleaver here. It's got two sides on it. This side, which has all the spokes in it, is for really for tenderizing meat. And we don't really need to tenderize this. We're just going to pound it uh, flat. So first thing we're going to do is just put it between a couple of sheets of plastic. And you might notice that I'm, I am using a silicone uh, cutting board here on top of my regular cutting board. Anytime you're working with chicken, it's best to use a silicone cutting board because it's not porous like wood is, <clears throat> and you don't get the juices of the chicken going into it. So we're gonna just pound that um, to where it's about the same thickness as the point. And you'll notice as you start pounding, it's a little bit uh, tough at first and then it starts to kind of break the fibers down and it doesn't require that much pressure so that's really all we want to to pound this chicken breast so the next step that we want to do is we are going to season our chicken breast and now you can see it's nice and uh, evenly thick all over. All right, so let's season it. And I just touched the chicken, so I'm going to quickly wash my hands. And you want to always do that after you touch uh, raw chicken. So now we are going to, um, I've got clean hands, and we are now just going to season it with uh, a little bit of salt. And whenever you're seasoning something, um, start from on high with salt so that it falls uh, all around and not just in a in one spot on the chicken it's evenly distributed and a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna turn it with my other hand that's not touched the salt that's not touching the salt and pepper okay and again, season the other side. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. All 
Okay, so we have our pan over a uh, about a medium medium heat just to get that get that heated up. I'm going to turn it up a little bit just to get it going, and I like to go ahead and heat the pan a little bit before putting the oil in. And as I said earlier, we are using um, grapeseed oil today. And the main reason for using grapeseed oil is that it has, it has a high smoke point and a high flash point. It won't catch on fire. And also it won't impart uh, an extra flavor that you don't necessarily want in your, in your chicken. So we're just going to coat the bottom of our pan a little bit of the oil. And once you see the oil start to, to shimmering, uh, then that's when you know it's ready. Our oil is now heated up and it's, it's shimmering a little bit and so we, it's time for us to put our chicken breast in. And just remember whenever you're pan frying something to lay away. So we're going to uh, put the breast down here and we're going to lay it away from us just in case um, it slips out of your hand and the oil doesn't pop back onto you. So that's really the safest way to go. And this sound that you're hearing is exactly what you want to hear. If you don't hear this sound, your oil is not hot enough and you need to take your chicken out and let the oil heat up some more. So now that we've got that started, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the oil down just a little bit. And we'll let that, that cook. We're going to wash our hands again since we touched the chicken. And so when you put your chicken breast in the, in the pan, don't be tempted to, to turn it over, to move it around, any of that kind of stuff. Just let it sit there, let it sear. This creates what's called the Maillard effect, and that's what creates the caramelization on the, on the, on the meat. So same thing if you're pan searing a steak or if you're doing shrimp, whatever it is, um, you wanna let those proteins create that Maillard effect, uh, which causes the caramelization which is where you get your flavor. And I typically will let the chicken, as you can see, it's getting white around the edges here. Once that gets about half to three quarters of the way up, up the side of the chicken is when we'll, we'll turn it. We'll basically do 75% of the cooking of this chicken breast on one side. And now we can start to kind of baste it a little bit, kind of get the other side going. Let's take a look at the at the opposite side and see how it looks. And it looks great. And it looks like we can leave it in just a little bit longer. I'd like to see a little bit more doneness in there. And at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of butter. This is probably half a tablespoon of butter and we can now add our thyme leaf and our garlic and just continue to baste it I'm going to take it off just a little bit and now we can turn our chicken breast just flip it see that nice beautiful color And we'll just continue to baste, getting all those flavors in there. Beautiful. And now, everybody always asks how to tell if your chicken is done. So, um, what most people do realize is that you need to ch cook chicken to 165 degrees Fahrenheit or about 74 degrees centigrade 
for it to be fully cooked and, and safe to eat. But it's really best to cook it to about five degrees less than that, maybe 160 or 71 degrees, uh, because it will continue to cook once you remove it from the pan. And one thing that will just come from experience is that you will, you'll actually be able to tell the chicken breast is done by feeling it with your, with your fingers like this. Uh, but if you want to make certain, the best thing to do is just uh, use an instant read meat thermometer and just you can stick it right into the side of the chicken. Okay. And what I'm feeling for is about the same uh, spring back that I would get on the end of the chicken here because uh, we know this part is pretty much done and in the very thickest part we want it to be uh, pretty firm and springy All right. so our chicken breast should be should be done and we will now take that off and i like putting chicken breast on a on a uh, on a rack so that um, you can now pour over some of those pan sauces or some of those some of that that nice butter sauce that's that's in there and we'll let we'll set that aside and let it rest so one of the things you can do when you're while your chicken breast is resting is we can make a little pan sauce and that's what we're going to do so we've we've taken the excess oil out of the pan and we are now just going to put just a little bit of butter into the pan and as you can see we were talking earlier about the Maillard effect the, these little the little brown bits here on the bottom of the pan that that is the French word for that is sucs s-u-c-s and that is where there's a ton of flavor so to just to create a very simple pan sauce we are going to deglaze the pan which means we're going to loosen up all the brown bits on the bottom with a little bit of white wine just a little bit And now you can, as you can see, all of the, the brown bits have, have loosened up from the bottom of the pan. And we will, we've got our heat on, on fairly high. And we want this, uh, this white wine, first of all, we want to cook the alcohol, alcohol out of the wine. And we want it to uh, reduce a little bit. Once we can see that our that our wine is reduced probably by a third or by by half, it'll 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 tend to get a little a uh, little thicker. You can see it getting a little bit thicker. We will now add a little bit of chicken stock, and you can do this. With, you could add you know a little bit of water. You could add a little bit of bouillon with water, whatever you like. It's just uh, for a little bit of additional flavor, and we'll turn our heat back up and put our stock in. And we want to let that come to the boil. So the idea here, here is to just impart uh, some great chicken flavor and we're going to let that reduce a little bit. And then we're going to finish it with just a little bit of cream and if you like maybe a little bit of butter our chicken stock and wine have been boiling now for probably about five minutes so now it's time to add our we're just add in a little bit of cream just whisk that in and i know it doesn't look so great right now but just be patient and it will look a little bit better shortly and we'll let that come to a nice simmer 
it's heavy cream, so we don't want to we don't want to boil it too much, so that it doesn't curdle. And as that as that simmers away, it will actually thicken up a little bit. And we'll finish it with a little bit of butter. Okay, so the next step for this sauce is we're going to actually strain what we have here into another little, another little pan, a little saucepan, if you would. Because we have a small saucepan here for our sauce, we've moved it to a, a little smaller uh, source here. And as you can see, it's nice and it's getting nice and nice and thick there, kind of searing, uh, simmering away. We just need to finish it with a little bit of, a little bit of salt. I don't like to put uh, pepper in a in a white sauce just because it's it needs to stay as a white sauce. So our sauce is done. And if you'd like to finish it with a little bit of butter, you could at this point. And some, sometimes you, at this point, you can adjust the flavoring. Um, if it seems a bit um, strong, you could always add a little bit of cream to it um, to kind of re reduce the, the, uh, the, the tartness of it. So, but this one is very, very good. All right, so our sauce is done. We'll turn it off. And now, let's check our chicken breast. And by the way, the other way that you can tell your chicken breast is done, besides sticking the thermometer in the side or ex the experience of knowing what it should feel like, is when you cut into it, the juices should run clear. So we're, we'll just cut into the thickest part of the chicken breast. And it's nice and done on the inside. And let's just see. It's nice and juicy. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is nice and well done. And so that's uh, our chicken breast done. A little bit of pan sauce for a little extra content. And we'll enjoy it. Okay, so now it's time for us to plate up our chicken breast with our sauce. And we're just gonna add that to a little bit of asparagus that we've blanched and just gently seared in, the, in a pan and we've got a little rice with that and we'll just pour a little bit of our sauce over maybe just a little bit more and let's just finish it let's do uh, some thyme how about that nice little touch of thyme since we actually cooked the chicken breast with thyme and garlic. So there we have it, pan seared chicken breast with uh, seared asparagus and basmati rice. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, give us a thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button, it's free. And ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as we release a new video. Also, let us know in the comments if you have any special recipe requests. We really appreciate you tuning in. See you next time.